And big coverage tonight. Voters in Nebraska's second congressional district learn more about what will be on the ballot in less than a month. A pair of public hearings in Omaha outline the two key ballot measures. Right now, voters are learning about the initiative to raise the state minimum wage. The meeting on a voter ID requirement was a couple hours ago. KTV News Watch 7's Josh Cristianto was there and brings us both sides of the issue tonight. That's right. We heard from several voters giving their opinions on Initiative Measure 432 this afternoon. The hearing highlights what a contentious issue this will be on Election Day. This November, Nebraskans will vote on how they'll vote in the future. If passed, Initiative 432 would amend the state constitution to require qualified voters to present a valid photo ID. Supporters like State Senator Julie Slama say that will protect our elections. It's a simple, common sense election security measure that you prove that you are who you say you are before undertaking the most important civic duty you have. Opponents claim more than 50,000 voting age Nebraskans don't have a valid government issued ID. Buying one in Nebraska costs $29. Some worry changes in address or name will cause problems for voters like college students, military members, and low income residents who often move. Forcing citizens to pay a fee in order to vote is akin to a poll tax, a disgraceful and illegal relic of the Crow era. Over 25 million ballots have been cast in general and in primary elections in Nebraska in the, in the past 50 years, and there have been zero prosecutions for voter impersonation fraud. If passed, the state legislature would decide what the photo ID requirements will actually be. Proponents point out 35 other states already have voter ID laws, and more than 170,000 Nebraskans already signed the petition to get this issue on the ballot next month. That's what we want to have, you know, proof of is that the people who are casting votes are qualified to cast those votes. And Nebraskans will have the simple choice of voting for or against this initiative when they fill out their ballots. Back to you.